Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another ukulele lesson with me, Stu Fuchs, and Ukulele Zen. So glad you decided to join me. If you're here live, please say hello in the chat. And if you're watching as a replay, please say hello in the chat. This is going to be a fun session. We're going to be playing three songs that we have done in previous lessons, but it's always a great idea to review tunes, especially tunes that are all about the morning. I think, you know, there's that old saying, if you win the morning, you win the day. And there's something nice about spending either the morning or your first practice session with nice songs and nice activities that get you going with your music making in a way that's relaxing and fun and empowering. So let me know how you're feeling in the chat. I see there's a whole bunch of friends in the room already. Thanks for joining me. M.E. is in the house. You graduated to guitar. Awesome. I got to play more guitar for y'all. I'm going to um, jump into the lesson in just a minute. I just wanted to say hello. Big thanks to everybody um, for showing up. Nancy, glad you're here. Gordon from Edmonton is in the house. Linda, how you doing? From Wyndham, Maine. Jim, glad you're here. Always nice to answer your questions in the chat on Patreon. Hey, Kate. Sue Lampman's in the house. VBK is in the house from Vancouver. Patricia, Lisa, we got friends in from the UK all the way here. Thanks. Germany is in the house. Hello. Well, good morning. Adrian, thanks so much. I am glad that you're here. So happy to be sharing uh, things that have helped me in my music journey. Let's jump right in with some jamming. You know, what I want to do today is to play a couple of tunes and as we play, we'll also be diving a little bit into some extra cool chord voicings. Let's use these to warm up, and then we'll get into our first song, Good Morning. What are you drinking this morning? Yerba Mate, some caffeine for me, <laughs> so I can be as sharp as I can be for you. Let's start with this first turnaround uh progression okay what this is is in jazz language this will be a one six two five very common chord progression it can be played in a number of different ways too i mean there's so many different ways that these are reharmonized But what I've offered here are two nice ways to get started. So come on, let's try four strums on each chord. Are you ready? Hold down your G major chord. Take a moment just to check in that your grip is relaxed, your wrist is straight, and we'll begin with a nice mellow swing. Four strums each chord. One, two, just the top line. Here we go. G, E minor seven. A minor 7, D7, seven, sharp 5, G, E minor 7, A minor 7, D7, seven, add the sharp 5, let's do it some more. And just keep up the best you can. You hear I'm playing two beats, and then on the last chord, I'm adding that colorful note. If you're feeling comfortable with this, start to warm up your voice. Just gently hum some easy to find notes, right? We want to warm up with kindness. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh. Just find your way around. So bumble dum bum de um ba. Bo dum bo dum bum be dum ba. O wa do bum bum be um ba dum ba. O wam ba bum 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 ba. up and a chord progression there and the reason why I wanted to share that chord progression is that it makes a great introduction to this song all the uh, song sheets that I'm gonna be sharing with you are all available 
add a post down below, okay? If you happen to be a member, thank you very much. Uh, membership includes a whole bunch of perks, starts at just two bucks a month. If you wanted to pledge for an entire year of support, you get a nice discount as well. So there are links down below in the video description if you'd like to join and receive these uh, bonus materials. Everything you need to follow along this lesson will be right here, but if you feel like supporting and getting some perks in exchange for your support, I, of course, would be delighted if you join the community at Patreon. Let me know in the chat if you are a patron. I recognize a lot of folks here are. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get into the tune. And this is going to be a really, really fun time. Oh, by the way, there is also a link down below for my upcoming retreat. There still are a couple of seats open for it. It's a fantastic time. Click the links down below. I'll share a bit more about it later, but let's just get into some playing. Do click the links if you want to join me for five days. It's an amazing time being at the Omega Institute just north of New York City in the beautiful Hudson Valley countryside. All right, let's play this. And you know, what we were doing before was we were playing a chord progression right up here. G, E minor 7, A minor 7, D7. And you can add that sharp 5 there by sneaking in that index finger. Now what we'll do is we'll use those chords as a little bit of an introduction. Okay, I'll hold this, I'll hold this up here and then I'll, I'll get rid of it in just a moment. Okay, let's just play those top chords. And then we'll get into the song. This is a song from the musical Singing in the Rain. Great way to start your day. One, two, introduction two times. Stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So say good morning. Good morning. Sunbeams will soon shine through. Good morning. Good morning to you and you and you and you. A good morning. Good morning, we've gabbed the whole night through. Good morning, good morning, tell you nothing could be grander than to be in Louisiana. Good morning, good morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning. To you might be us the zippy if we was in Mississippi. Well, when we left the movie show, the future wasn't bright. Then came the dawn, the show goes on. I don't wanna say good night, so say good morning. Good morning, rainbows are shining through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for jamming. I'm sure there are some questions. Watch my hands for a minute. I'm going to play G and G6. So you play a G and lift up your finger. Two beats each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a nice little chord vamp that you can put any time in the song. Let's try it at the beginning, okay? The top line, and when we get to the very end of the first line, the second line, we'll just put this vamp in. Are you ready? Two, a one, two, three, good morning. 
Good morning. I talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. There's that vamp. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you and vamp. Let's just take a little break right there. Awesome. Drop a note in the chat. Let me know how you're feeling. That chord vamp is simply going from G, where is it, G, to G6, or E minor 7, same chord. So you can just bounce back in between those two chords, or you can play all four chords, all right? So when you get to the end of the line, it's a very standard thing to do. Good morning, good morning. And then when you get to to you, you'll just play the whole vamp, okay? The whole four chord vamp. To you. All right? And I even put in that extra note. You may be wondering, what is that extra note? I'm gonna show you. You take a D7. I'm using my middle and my ring finger. So my, my index is free to just grab a hold of that first fret. I'm playing it with a syncopated rhythm. So what I'm doing is this. One and two and three and. Now, that's just one of many things you could do. The point is, is that this note, that tension note, the sharp five on the D7, comes in on an upbeat. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. See how I came in between three and four. Count with me. One, two, three, four. All right, you keep your count steady. You're rock solid. This just happens to dance in between. If we were gonna count it as eighth notes, it would be even easier to find. It would go like this. One, and two, and three. Okay, so on the and of three. I know this may be a very simple gesture for some. It's not for everybody. That's why I want to offer these all levels lessons so you can follow along. All right, now, this is such a fun song. It comes from the uh, Singing in the Rain, Singing in the Rain. It's a very fast song. We're doing it in a mellow way. You can, of course, pick up the speed. When you get to this section right here at the end anytime there is a return to the g chord you can do the two chord vamp or you can play all four chords all right and if that's chipping you up just leave that sharp five out all right so one other thing i want to share with you and it's this progression down here okay the second one but we'll get to that in just a moment. I wanna make sure that we're answering any questions in the chat and then we're just gonna jam the entire song one more time. I see Trey's in the house singing la la la. Yes, Casey, G6 is the same as E minor seven. So there is this principle of uh, chord synonyms, same notes, but they have a diff but chords with even the same notes have a different role depending on what context they're in, okay? So it's just like vocabulary words can mean something different in one context. A word could have one meaning, it could have an entirely different connotation in another. It's the same thing here. G and G6, okay? The sixth chord is the same notes as E minor seven, all right? There's a formula to this, the one chord, and the sixth chord of the key, the sixth chord will always be the minor seven of the one sixth chord. Okay, we'll get more into some music theory. It's actually very mathematical and predictable once you memorize a couple of key elements. Now, you wanna jam this whole tune one more time? Let's do it. Let's do it just a little faster. Okay, I'm gonna make this graphic just a little bit smaller if you don't mind. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying yourself so far, please give this video a thumbs up. Just reach out, click that like button. It helps YouTube to spread my content. 
lets me know that you're here and I appreciate every every like every comment love hearing from you so please leave a comment drop a like and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more goodies like this monthly lesson the first Sunday of every month when you get to this section B7 you can play the B7 chord like this four three two and then the open string mm -hmm. you can also play it as a bar chord all right when we change from D to a D sharp diminished seventh it can be a tricky maneuver but here is a little helpful tip see how your fingers one two and three are on the D chord well look the index finger stays in place middle finger hops down and then the other two come in here so just bounce back and forth left hand only practice members of the patreon community receive bonus lessons and this month we worked with some techniques of making your left hand transitions easier this is a good one just left hand only practice something you probably already do you can go even deeper and get even better results by watching your hand and really challenging your fingers to land at the same time, okay? It can be humbling how slowly we have to move in order to do that. That's good, though, you know? It's good to go slow enough that the fingers are firing, they're landing at the same time. Pretty soon, it just becomes easier to go quicker if you're willing to slow it down and just work out the kinks of that motion. Are you ready to jam? Come on, let's do it. A little faster, strum any way you like. Let's jam. One, a two. We'll start with the turnaround. Two, introduction, here we go. stars were shining bright now the milkman's on his way too late to say good night so say good morning good morning sunbeams will soon shine through good morning good morning to you and you and you and you good morning good morning we've gabbed the whole night through good morning Good morning to you. Nothing could be grander than the bean of Louisiana. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. Might be just a zippy if we was in Mississippi. Well, when we left the movie show, the future wasn't bright. But came the dawn, the show goes on. I don't want to say good night. So say good morning, good morning. Rainbows are shining through. Good morning, good morning to you. Last line, good morning, good morning to you. Last time, good morning, good morning to you. All right, so cool. Thanks so much for joining in, everybody. That was our first tune for the day, Good Morning. There are another two songs we're going to play today. I just want to make sure I'm answering your questions in the chat, so let me check in with everybody. How are you feeling so far? Hope you're having a good day. If you're interested in joining me for five days, I'll be at the amazing Omega Institute. This will be the uh, seventh time I've presented at the Omega Institute. It's a world-class holistic learning facility. 
you stay overnight, you're fed great food, you stay on a beautiful campus during their arts week, and Ukulele Zen is just one of several programs being presented. It's a great time. I hope you can join me. There are still a few seats left. All the details are in the link down below. We, of course, dive deep into music making and also explore accessible means of bringing a, medit a mobile meditation practice into your daily life for wellness, for greater creativity, for just all the wonderful benefits that a mindfulness practice brings. And if you're interested in other benefits, you can join the community at Patreon. I appreciate everyone who is a patron supporting. I appreciate you watching this either way, whether you are a patron or not. If you feel that you'd like to support this channel and my work, there are links down below where you can learn all about the different benefits. Each and every month, I post a whole lot of extra content, singing lessons, uh, there's even a chord melody tier where we explore jazz, bonus lessons, and printable PDFs, all kinds of cool stuff for you to enjoy. Okay, how you feeling out there, folks? You ready to jam? Mike is in the house. Michael, I hope that you can make it this year to, uh, to Ukulele Zen. Fred is in the house. Oh, cool. I'm glad that you're here, Fred. Thanks for making the time. Mary's in the house. Wonderfully cheerful. Yeah, it is a nice tune. When Vincent's got a question for your right hand, you usually keep the un three fingers in a closed fist position. Yeah, good question. So let's take that first vamp for good morning. G and G6. Ways that I kind of, that I like to jazz this up. And let's just take a minute. Come on, let's take two or three minutes and just have a little strum lesson. Yeah? All right. So let's say I'm strumming this. All right, now there's a lot more we can do, but first have a solid foundation of index and thumb are touching. Very loose though. And yes, Vincent, I am curling these up, but I'm not keeping them into a tight fist. You know, at any moment, I might open my hand for a fan stroke. My hand may, if I, if I, for example, if I'm playing some kind of a tremolo, like that, a tremolo, then my fingers will naturally open up. So I'm just trying to answer your question, Vincent, as clearly as I can. I do keep them curled, but they're not tight, all right? They're at the ready anytime you, you need them. I also like to use my thumb on the low string quite a bit, all right? And for me, that feels like just the wrist is moving this way, so I'll just kind of naturally, it's like strumming down with the thumb and also with the index finger. So I might do things like this. Hard to hear it but um, maybe you'd hear it more on a high G but when I use the thumb all right what that means is that for at least one of my strokes of strumming I'm not playing all the strings right and that thins out the texture I enjoy that sound of a thinner texture sometimes, right? So we don't have too much strumming all the time, okay? So what I'm doing is thumb, up, down, up, up, down. That's why I lifted up the finger. Thumb, up, down, up, up, down. One, two, last thing for this little moment here. up one fret, up down. All right, so to each their own strum, of course, 
some universal principles, however, to keep the wrist loose. I like using a little bit of thumb, okay? You'll find many players do. And then just to have the index finger and thumb as my main digits, but of course these are ready to go, especially if I'm gonna do some kind of finger style. If I'm playing finger style, then I definitely need all my fingers. All right, let's play another tune. Really glad that you're here. Let's play a simple tune. This is a song I really enjoy, Jump Up. Now, Jump Up has just got three chords. C, and maybe we can use this as a little uh, finger style tune. G, C, and then we just change to F, and then change the G, and then change the C. It's a pretty straightforward song. I think you'll enjoy it. Why don't we do this as a uh, as a strummer, and then we'll see what kind of finger style questions you may have. Thanks for being with me. If you're enjoying this so far, click the like button, share this video with your friends. Let's jam. One, two, one, two, three. It goes jump up. Day is breaking. Jump up. Let's get shaking. I know you're lying down. Jump up and we'll dance around. The feel next line jump up bells are ringing and i hear friends are singing oh whoa, yeah it's a crazy sound jump up and we'll dance around next line a jump up clouds are passing a look up the sky is laughing, I, I know we'll be laughing too. Jump up, I wanna dance with you. Well, jump up, stand on your tiptoes, or reach up, grab a rainbow, or turn it upside down. Jump up and we'll dance around. Can you just play the chords? Ready? G. C. C. F. G. Let's do that again. Try to find it with the melody. you could do with this tune what we just did right there was a easy to play strum along version i hope you had a good time playing this this is a fun song to start the day and i'm doing it slow of course this is I, what i want to do with this next section of this lesson is just show you how you can take a you know quote simple song and start to bring other stylistic elements to it okay would you like me to do that because what we could do is we can take this as we just add a few little elements to it, and suddenly it becomes an entirely different song. Let's say we play the first line just straightforward like we did, okay? We're playing our easy going down, down, up, up, down, strum. Let's do it together. Are you ready? A one, two, one, two, three. Jump up. Day is breaking, jump up, let's
let's get shaking. I know you're lying down. Jump up and we'll dance around. Cool. Next section, you could continue to play the entire song that way and deliver it very sweetly from the heart. If you want to add some other tricks, what you could do is something like this. Jump up, bells are ringing, night. friends are singing, oh yeah, it's a crazy sound. Jump up and we'll dance around. So what am I doing there? Let me zoom in on my hands so I can show you. I'm taking my fingers, thumb, index, middle, ring, one finger per fret. And by the way, don't let my long fingernails make you think that you need fingernails. You don't, okay? You can make a fine sound without these long nails. I keep them for my guitar playing. A little bit of length of nail is all that's needed. Um, mine are actually a bit too long these days. So you just, a little bit of extra nail hanging off this side. Okay, you shape it in such a way where the string doesn't get caught right there, okay? But with or without nails, what you do is you're gonna pluck all four strings, just like that. And this is a technique, takes a little getting used to. All right, the trick that really helped me was, I have to, you have to, you wanna find where on the strings are you touching. So you can see that indentation, it's right where the nail is right where the nail and the finger meet, okay? If you play the string way down here, if that's where you're connecting, then the string's gonna get stuck on your finger and it's never gonna feel very easy. Try just touching the very tip. That is a really important skill, okay? It's not a small deal to be able just to reach out and find that fingertip every time. If you find that point, that planted point, that point where you plant the finger on the string, that is key. Okay, so just make friends with that. And then we can... This is the gateway to bossa nova, by the way. So first is just playing four strings all simultaneously. So what I did was I played this. Jump up. Jolly is breaking. Jump up. Let's get shaking. Now what I'm doing is I'm playing, pinching all four strings. Jump up. And then these three. So get comfortable with all four and then the top three. Pinch three. With the thumb, without the thumb. Okay, that's an important motion. Here comes another important motion. Watch my hand for a moment. I'm gonna lift it up and I'm just gonna touch. You know, it looks like I'm smacking it hard, but it's very light. It's actually very light. You're not gonna damage your ukulele by tapping it. It's supposed to be tapped, right? <laughs> You're supposed to make some noise on it. So just tap, and you'll find the place where your fingers land, and they land in such a way where they're kind of ready to pick again, All right? So this is a much more advanced technique than most people give it credit for. You know, you're landing, but you have to land in a way where your fingers are ready to pick, all right? Watch this again. Practice this little trick. It's so cool when you get it, when it all comes together. It will take a couple of repetitions. So let's just do all four strings. Ready? All four strings. Three fingers. And then that tap. And see, when, when you tap, are you ready to pluck again? All right, come on, let's practice those four motions. One, two, three, four. You go pinch, pluck, tap, pluck. Pinch, 
pluck. <laughs> Half pluck. <laughs> I can't even say it. Let's try again, Mr. Stew. There it is. All four, three, tap, three. Now you may be saying, this doesn't sound like the rhythm you just played. What I'm doing is I'm giving you the alphabet, so to speak, you know, all the strokes, and then you can put it together. You will find the groove will start to happen when we get these three sounds, you know, the all four, three, this, it'll start to take on a life of its own. Pinch, pluck, tap, up, pluck. All right, sometimes you can begin just with this. different patterns. All right, this whole pattern is something I taught in a lesson for autumn leaves, and it was available at my Patreon page. It's a pretty advanced topic, and it's something I'd like to go into a little deeper as well. And when I say deeper, I mean unraveling it in some very clear ways so you can get this into your fingers. So, the pattern is, you could do all four, pinch, tap, up, down, okay, those. Pretty soon it becomes this. All right, are you still glad you showed up? I hope so. <laughs> So when we're playing the tune, these are just some of the things that you can start to add to this. Jump up, bells are ringing, I hear. Friends are singing, whoa oh yeah. It's a crazy sound. Jump up and we'll dance. is tricky to do. Maybe I should have started with something a little easier than that one. But there you have it. A nice juicy technique to start to cultivate. It starts to sound like a drummer. starts to clap on the twos and the fours. All right, friends. Here is an easier thing to do. Check it out. You hold down your C chord, and we're going to add some colorful notes to go with it. See what I'm doing is I'm holding down my C chord. And I'm going to add these notes from the scale. My middle finger will go to G. My index finger will go to the F. Open E. Middle finger on D. And then C. Now how you add these to the chord is up to you. You can do a lot of different approaches. Jump up and we'll dance around. So you can add that as a little fill. Okay, you can just add a couple of notes. So that time I added open two, open one, open. It can be a really nice thing to know where the scale notes are under even just one chord. Eventually, it's nice to know them under many chords, but if you just know one, all right. So a lot of different ways fills can be added. Jump up 
up and we'll dance around. Okay, so that is another nice thing you can do. Finally, one little strum thing, and then I want to turn to some questions coming in the chat. Please ask your questions with a question mark before and after, so I know it's a question, and I'll happy to answer it. You know what we were doing a moment before with all this fancy picking? You can simulate that in a much more, it's a little easier to go down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. Okay, now I'm going down, I'm playing down, up, and then I'm swinging my thumb. But you could do it like this, down, up, tap. And then see how my index finger is ready for the next up strum. Down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up. Let's try that one, and then we'll try the thumb. Let's practice together. Are you ready? When you tap, it's a light touch, okay? It's not too hard. You want to keep moving. We'll go like this. Down, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. faster. Two, three, four. Down, down, down. Hey, thanks, Andre. I'm glad the song is working for early evening in Germany. You may have already done rhythms like this, but now maybe it feels a little easier because you're willing to slow down and focus on that moment you tap. If you stop there, ask yourself when you stop, how light am I? Am I ready to keep moving? Also like using my thumb. You can probably tell by the nicks in my ukulele. Sometimes I'll reach out and I'll do that. Okay, there's all kinds of ways you can bring in percussion on beats two and four. All right, my friends, let's just play a little more. Jump up, you know I love you. Add some chucking, add some taps. Nah, actually, let's back up here. Let's have two verses of time to practice, okay? A one, two, let's jam, here we go. Jump up, stand on your tiptoes. Reach out and grab a rainbow and turn it upside down. Jump up and we'll dance around. Jump up, you know I love you, that's right. I love, love, love you. A new day is shining now. Jump up and we'll dance around. Tag ending. Here we go. Jump up, we'll dance around. Put an A minor and then F. Jump up and we'll dance around. A minor. Jump up, we'll dance around. A minor. Jump up and we'll dance around. So there you go. Adding some bells and whistles to a simple song. You don't have to add the bells and whistles, of course. Play it from the heart. Always great to just do things simply and directly. But if you feel comfortable to do so, putting a little bit of rhythm in it, maybe after you play a couple of verses, add some rhythm, your song really takes on a life, right? It has a little moment where it grows. It gets a little bigger. It's a little arrangement, so to speak, in your playing, okay? Uh, you could use a tap a as a chuck. Debbie asked a great question. You could go jump up. There he is. 
yep, so instead of tapping, you could put that percussive chuck in. This is tapping. Here it kind of shuffles along. And here's the chuck. All right. So just keeping it uh, still simple enough to hear the song. We don't want to add too much, but adding just a little bit of extra color into your percussion, uh, your percussive strumming really makes the song sound great. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Thank you so much for joining me. We got another tune. If you're digging this, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And if you're really digging and you want to uh, enjoy it with a friend, share it with your friends on social media with your fellow ukulele lovers. Uh, appreciate you sharing news of my lessons with your friends. Thanks so much for being with me. This is a song, and you can see there is box notation down here at the bottom. But uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in. We're going to zoom in so you can see all the chords. Maybe we'll hang with a box notation later. But let's just play this song. This is a song that was covered just last month in a bonus lesson for members of the Patreon community. We learned some really cool jazzy chords that go along with it. Let's just play it as it's written. When the red, red robin comes, bop, bop, bop it along. If you have any questions about this or any other topic, any question you have about strumming, finger picking, anything, please ask. I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, oh, Gordon, sorry, this is a little late. Can you count that out? It would be this. One and two and three and four. So Gordon, if you were going to write this strum out, just write one and, two and, three and, four and. And on the two and the four is where you're putting some kind of a percussion. Okay, either with tapping, thumb slapping, or chucking. Down, up, chuck, up, down. Okay. All right, let's play. That's our first note. Mm -hmm. Let's use that strum. Play through this song. There's a bunch of different chords. Hang out the best you can. We'll answer your questions when we're done. Two. One, two. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along. Sobbing once he starts throbbing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, loud, love, and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields. Flowers, rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes, bop, bop, bopping along. Let's go again. La la la. La 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 la. La la la. La 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 la. Just get the melody with your chords. La la la. La la la. La la la. La 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 la. La la. La la. Ba na. Ba na na na. Wa na. Ba na. Da na na na. Da da. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again. 
singing a song when the red red robin comes bop 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 Thanks for following a long, long distance jamming. There are some really sweet chord changes in here, and there is a chance for us to learn another cool triplet pattern. So let's get into this. How many folks here, let me know in the chat if you saw the video that went live yesterday about the power triplet. <laughs> Kind of obsessed with triplets. There are lots of different ways to play them and this is one that will be an entirely just an entirely dedicated tutorial to just this one technique because it is huge. You can do you can get many benefits from playing a triplet in this way down up and then bounce okay so it's three strokes down up and a little bounce when I say little bounce, we're just getting the top string, maybe the top two strings. Let's get comfortable with this, because we're going to use it as a rhythmic fill in just a moment. Down, up, touch. Let's just get the mechanics. Down, up, touch. Excellent. If you say it and look at your hand at the same time, you're going to learn this much faster. So come on, join in with me. Down, up, touch. Touch, or you could say bounce. Here, down, up, bounce. See on my hand, very loose, my wrist very loose. Let's do two of them in a row. You ready? Two of them in a row. I'll go first. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch. Ready? Let's do it together. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch. One, two, again. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch. Practice. To sing together, here we go. Down, up, down, up, touch. Love to practice with you. Down, up, down, up, touch. Let's do three in a row, three in a row. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, rest. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, rest. My wrist is loose. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, rest. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up. Ref, four in a row, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, rest. Again. Down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, rest. Okay, cool. So that motion is very loose, and the tricky part is, of course, the two down strokes in a row. Right, down, up, touch, and then another down. Here's a power tip power tip i need like um graphic of lightning bolts the power tip this really helped me you go down up and when you touch really bounce up in the air i'm going to exaggerate it at first and i encourage you to exaggerate it okay all right because the more you exaggerate that the more you're going to be ready to, for the next downstroke you're preparing the next downstroke by going down up Bounce, down, right? <laughs> Try it with me. Ooh. All right, now when you do two in a row, can you feel how that bounce is kind of preparing? Now, eventually the bounce is not some huge motion. You know, you're not always going to want to bring it all the way up here. It would take too long to get back to the strings. But... By doing that, you put your hand and your arm in touch with what would it feel like to be that loose. It's just totally relaxed. And then the motion gets smaller, but it still feels squishy. <laughs> it still feels loose, all right? You got a squishy hand out there? Good to meet you. So when we start putting this into the song, I'm just a kid again. Doing what I did again. All right, there's all kinds of different drum fills. Now you're you have this da 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 da, triple da triple da bump. There 
are so many ways that this down, up, down, down, up, down triplet pattern can be used. But let's just focus on one way. Take a look at this moment in the song. I'm just a kid again. Then we have four beats of time. Doing what I did mm. again. And another four beats of time. Let's fill up those four beats of time with a little drum fill, or you could picture it like tap dancing. I'm just a kid again. One, two, three, four. Doing what I did again. However you want to make some rhythms. This is a new bit of rhythm vocabulary. Triple it, triple it, da. Triple it, triple it, da. Right? You could also, you could do all kinds of things, tap dancing on your ukulele. Let's do it. Let's just get a couple of attempts at this. Okay. Are you ready? Just go for it. And let's make some music. One, two, from the C chord. Here we go. I'm just a kid again. Doing what I did again. Singing a song. Okay, and there we move on to singing a song. All right. A lot of things could be done with the diminished chord as well. So what we're doing here is we're putting some rhythmic fills into the song. All right, we're gonna come back to that, but let's practice one other thing. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. A good thing to practice, right? We're gonna play D7. You can do it this way, or with your open D7. You play B diminished. A minor. And then D7. And if you like, you could bring in that sharp five on the D7, like right there. Okay. So my friends, here is what this eventually sounds like. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. If you listen closely, there is a melody, especially when playing with this D7. Can you hear that? On top of the chords. So zooming in on just one chord progression can bring a lot of insight, just paying attention to not only the fingerings, but what's happening with the music. All right, there are other ways to play that very same progression. All right, but that's a, time, that's a, a topic for another lesson. Let's play this song one more time. I hope that all three of these songs are songs that you'll bring into your music making. Great ways to start your day. And um, yeah, visit the post office with this song on your lips. Sing a little bit to the, even if you don't say it out loud, if you're just vibrating it, watch what happens. The person behind the counter not only may cheer up, but they'll probably you'll probably change their day. You'll probably make their day better just because you're vibrating something like this. Thanks so much for joining in. Let's play this tune one more time, take a few questions, and then we'll bow out for today. So glad you're here with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and look forward to making music with you again in the future. A one, two, a one, two, three. When the red, red robin Come bob bob bobbing along, along. Will there be no more sobbing once he starts throbbing his own sweet song? Wake up, 
wake up, you sleepy and get up, get up, get out of bed, cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red, live, laugh, love and be happy, what if I've been blue, now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I need again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes, bob, 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 and hello. All right there. So, this part right here, I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again. All right, you can use those triplets. Da, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, and last thing I promise, on the A7 chord, Wonderful little walk up. So what we're doing is we're fitting in on top of the A7 chord, those two notes on the third and second string. All right. Now we have a nice harmonic motion inside the chord. Cheer up. Sun is red. All right, so all kinds of ways that the harmony can be expanded on, and that is one of them. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, laugh, love, and be happy. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson today. So glad that you decided to spend some time with me with this live stream lesson. These live stream lessons are broadcast the first Sunday of every month at 12 noon Eastern time. And there are a lot of other bonus lessons just for you if you want to join as a member of the Patreon community. There are links down below. Thanks so much for hanging and jamming with me. Looking forward to making music with you again sometime soon. Until then, have a wonderful day. Wishing you and your family all the best, good health, many blessings to you. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks.